Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Let's, uh, let's uh, start with the next engineering economic decision. Yes, from yesterday we have started the typical uh, uh, actual engineering economic decisions being taken by the engineers or the economists within the industries or the businesses. And uh, yesterday we have discussed the uh, one of the engineering economic decision. What was that? What engineering uh, economic decision we have studied yesterday? First, yes, which is the first engineering economic decision? Obsolence. Obsolence is the reason. Replacement. Okay, first engineering economic decisions we have studied yesterday was the equipment replacement and uh, in that we have studied what is exactly mean by the replacement and uh, what can be the different reasons behind the uh, equipment replacement etc uh, etc et now second one that is the second engineering economic decision that is the uh, new product or the product expansion uh, totally we have the four uh, engineering economic decision yesterday we have seen one today we will look at uh, another and tomorrow or uh, in the next lecture we will finish the remaining uh, two okay so here uh, second uh, engineering economic decision is nothing but the new product or the product expansion uh, means what this is the decision related with the uh, launching the new product or uh, decision related with the starting the production of new item or new product uh, that is nothing but the second engineering economy decision which can be also referred as the product product expansion now here the product expansion is mentioned uh, because decision can be related with the launching or producing the new product or uh, decision can be related with uh, updating the existing product okay you are getting company manufacturing company can also produce the new product or manufacturing company can also make the changes in the existing product and launch that existing product as a new product getting yes launching the brand new product or making the changes within a existing product and launching it again that's why here what is being mentioned product expansion understood this yes sir okay yes, sir. so what things has to be considered while launching the new product or while doing the new product expansion that is nothing but our second engineering economic decision now i want to ask you when certain manufacturing company decide to launch a new product what is their motivation what is their uh, aim or objective main aim and objective behind uh, launching the new product what could be it yes the profit so main yep, new. primarily yes primarily motive or primarily aim of any manufacturing company for uh, launching the new product their main aim is nothing but the profit okay and so they do the investment they do the investment uh, to gen to produce the new product to gain the maximum amount of profit and to produce the maximum number of goods or the product uh, or the item and their uh, their their effort is nothing but or their uh, aim is nothing but how they can get the more profit by selling that particular newly generated product okay and uh, so that is a that is nothing but the second engineering economic decision that is related with the launching the new product but uh, let me ask you uh, the question related with that suppose there is a company tata company is there vehicle manufacturing company now tata company has uh, produced 
has uh, tata company has decided now how it can be get decided which product to produce can anybody tell me sir demand or public la kay paije manje okay tancha necessary okay then every time the every time the demand is consider means uh, ca can it be happen uh, like company launch their product and after launching the product demand can also come can it also happen yes sir okay so what i am trying to ask you whenever any company uh, go for launching a new product there is also role of the engineers the company ask to their engineers ask to their uh, okay marketing team designing team all other whatever the members are working in that company and company make that kind of survey from the team as well as from the market also and based on that they choose the one particular idea and then they try to convert that idea into the product understood so accordingly the new product selection is happen okay now Uh, let's uh, come with this example suppose there is a company tata company is there and tata company has decided to launch a new four wheeler for example tata company has decided now recently tata company has launched uh, the ultros car you must be knowing ultros car tata company has launched and okay this car they have put in the ipl uh, uh, show also for marketing purpose okay so ultra's car and uh, tata company has produced for example 1000 ultra's car how many just as example 1000 ultra's car okay now 1000 ultra's car ready in their uh, showroom now can you tell me after just producing that 1000 car is it possible to quantify the profit or is it possible to measure the profit of selling that car cars are where cars are in the showroom now before customer will buy that buy the buy the before the customer will buy customer will buy that cars is it possible to measure the profit that will be generated from selling that car that is my question Yes shall i repeat the question Yes sir Tata company has produced how many ultras cars 1000 correct now these cars are where these cars are now in the showroom of the tata still the customer has not buy that car okay now what i am asking at this instance at this time is it possible to measure the profit that will be generated from selling that car no no but company need to do the estimation of the profit company need to do what estimation of the profit company need to do the prediction of the profit that will be generated after selling these cars in the market understood and so here i have mentioned when a new product is being developed it is not easy to quantify or measure the profit so early in the life cycle of the product ki product generate jhalya jhalya apan kitya product mule aplya company la kiti profit hou shakal he apan sangu shakto ka he sangta yel ka nahi in the initial life cycle of life cycle of that product nahi he sangu shakat nahi apan understood now then how we can then how it will become possible to measure the or how we can predict the profit in the early life cycle of that product what can be done to measure or to predict the profit of that particular product in the early life cycle of that product early life cycle in the sense early life cycle of the product means what yes early life cycle of the product means what
Hmm. Early life cycle of the product in the sense initial period of launching of that product. What? Initial period of launching of that product in the market. That is considered as the early life cycle of the product. So, what I am asking, then how it, it will become possible to measure the or to predict the profit that will be generated from that product in the early life cycle of that product? How it can be possible? What has to be do for that? Yes. How how the performance of that particular product can be get predicted? If the performance of the product can be get predicted, then definitely from that profit that will be generated from that uh, product that can be also get predicted. Then what has to be do? What has to be done for that? Yes. Do you understand the question? Or shall I repeat the question? Repeat, sir. What I am asking, the company has just launched the product. Okay. Now company, when company has just launched the product, now in that case, is it, it is not possible for company to determine exact profit that will be generated. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. But prediction of the profit can be done. Is it possible to do the prediction? Yes, sir. Yes, because prediction uh, cannot be always uh, go exactly. Understood. Now, what I am asking, uh, on the basis of which dimension prediction of the profit can be done? Which different factor need to be considered to predict the profit of that product in the market? Yes. Which factor has to be considered related with that product? So, so the prediction of the profit can be done. Hmm. Suppose you are generating some product. How will how you will predict the profit of that product in the early life cycle of that product? Consider Karaki to me today you have produced some product. Now it is not possible for you today to exactly tell me what will be the profit generated from that product today itself. Because to generate the profit exactly, the time has to be passed. Yes or no? Time has yes. to be time has to be yes, passed. But before that time will pass, we want to do the prediction. What we want to do? We want to do the prediction. Then how you will do the prediction? Which factor, using which factor you will do the prediction regarding profit of your product? If the product that you have produced is not of the good quality can you predict the, can you predict the maximum profit will be get generated from that product no sir no that is i am trying to ask you so as i said in the early life cycle of the product it is not possible to exactly to exactly measure what will be the profit that will be generated from that product in the market but companies can do the prediction and in order to do the prediction of the profit that will be generated in the future the different dimension has to be considered related with that product what different dimension has to be considered related with that product okay 
and next our point in this uh, uh, new product uh, decision is nothing but different kind of dimension which are related with the profit or different dimension using which we can predict the profit that will be generated from the product that is produced by that particular company okay so let's move toward the different dimensions or different factors using which company can predict the profit of that particular product in the future okay in that as i said the first dimension using which the profit can be predicted is nothing but product quality as i said now if the particular company manufacturing company as we are taking the example of tata company tata company has produced the ultras car now what do you mean by the quality of the product yes product the quality of, of the performance product, product the performance performance okay then then the product manje kiti var average chalu manje life cycle tachi kiti varsha chalu shakti okay then then uh, customer satisfaction customer satisfaction then now base depend it if the customer satisfaction is there now when the customer can get satisfied if your product quality is good then and then only product uh, customer can get satisfied yes or no so the quality of the product depends on or it is directly proportional to the effort that is taken by the developing the product now when developing that particular cars by the tata if the employee of the tata company has put the good effort has put the sincere effort has put the loyal effort then definitely the quality product will be get generated yes or no yes sir if the employee of the tata will not do the sincere effort then then definitely some fault will be occur in the new product also correct yes sir and if some fault occurs will that customer will get satisfied yes if some fault occur in the new product what is your reaction our reaction is what we used to criticize that company understood we used to criticize that company and so the quality should satisfy the requirements and the need of the customer because ultimately the satisfaction of the customer which is very important as the satisfaction reflect in the sale now what is the re relation between the satisfaction of the customer and selling of the product sir man the car is the car the customer che need it is again satisfied karti sir data tu suppose akash ni akash ni suppose akash ni car getli thi jar akash la tes car madle sagla goshti vyavasthit vatlya okay he he feel satisfied he feel that the, that money he has uh, uh, given to that company for that car is worth okay and then what akash can do akash will tell his friend that okay this car is very good i have utilized its average is very good okay its uh, suspension is very good space is very good etc etc so as akash will tell his friends the automatically the mouth publicity will happen understood yes sir yes sir and because of that what will happen automatically the car selling car selling will increase if the car selling will increase the profit of the company is also increase understood now when all these thing will when all these things will happen if the company that is tata producing that particular product is of the good quality yes or no yes when the pro, when the customer will get is get satisfied when the customer uh, when the uh, selling of that product will increase and if the selling of the product will increase definitely the profit of the company will increase when these all these things happen when the company will produce the quality product correct or not yes sir yes sir and if the all these thing happens then definitely 
the company can decide the good price for the product okay and because of that the profit of the company will definitely get increased so if the tata company is putting the sincere effort in generating the quality product then from that is it possible to predict the profit yes or no yes, yes definitely yes, because if they if the tata company knows that we have put the sincere effort our product is of good quality etc etc then definitely they can from that they can predict that how much profit they are going to get in the future got the point okay this is the first uh, uh, dimension okay in in predicting the profit related with the new product understood the first dimension yes, yes sir. sir let's move toward the second dimension that is the product cost what product cost now what do you mean by the product cost or the production cost now product cost or the production cost is nothing but the manufacturing cost of the product what manufacturing cost of the product now what do you mean by the mean by the manufacturing cost see here manufacturing cost is nothing but combination of the fixed cost plus variable cost keep in these things in mind manufacturing cost is what fixed cost plus variable cost can can you tell me when the certain company launched their product in the market how they have decided the price of the product how they decide the price of the product sir then the pehle manufacturing ch cost calculate karun extra amtancha je profit hoil ta tacha andaz lo mate price so they consider the two cost in that that is first is the fixed cost and second is the variable cost now what do you mean by the fixed cost and what do you mean by the variable cost now here i have mentioned fixed cost is the cost of the plant and the machinery okay and variable cost is the cost of the main and material utilized to generate that product now what do you mean by the cost related with the plant and the machinery and what do you mean by the cost related with the main and material yes what do you mean the mean by the fixed cost as a cost related with the plant and the machinery and what do you mean by the variable cost is a cost related with the main and material manje kay sir fixed cost manje sir je company je machinery hai plant hai techi and variable cost manje apan manufacturing sathi kay kay material lagla ani je मटेरियल काय काय लागला आणि मेन इन द सेन्स की एम्प्लॉय वर्क किती खर्च झाला एम्प्लॉय वर्क एम्प्लॉईज तुम्ही सॅलरी किती दिली ती सॅलरी मेन कॉस्ट रिलेटेड इज द मेन इन द सेन्स सॅलरी दैट यू हॅव पेड टू योर एम्प्लॉई नाउ दिस वन फिक्स कॉस्ट इज द प्लांट म्हणजे त्यावेळेस तुम्ही प्लांट तुमचा व्हेन यू हॅव व्हेन यू हॅव व्हॉट वी कॅन से व्हेन यू हॅव व्हेन यू हॅव लॉन्च युअर प्लांट व्हेन यू हॅव लॉन्च युअर कंपनी that time you have got some cost yes or no now that cost that cost of the plant and the machinery now what company usually do when they are when they are launching some product they also add some of the some of the price related with the plant and the machinery understood suppose if the company when the company has a launch their plant okay new company they have got the cost of the 10 crore mag te product launch karta na evdi 10 crore tyacha madhe add karnar ka no sir mag kiti add karnar 1 to 5% purna yachatli yacha madli kahi tari ek small part कारण ही जी कॉस्ट असते ही ज्यावेळेस तुम्ही प्रत्येक प्रोडक्ट कुठलाही नवीन प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस ज्यावेळेस करणार आहे कंपनी त्या प्रत्येक वेळेस तुमच्या ही जी कॉस्ट आहे प्लांट आणि मशिनरी कॉस्ट त्या तुमच्या तुमच्या ज्या प्रोडक्ट कॉस्ट मध्ये ऍड होणार अँड दिस विल बी दलवेज दिस ऑलवेज बी देअर रिलेटेड विथ देअर पर्टिक्युलर प्रोडक्ट कॉस्ट रिलेटेड टू द मेन अँड मटेरियल अंडरस्टूड सो मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कॉस्ट इन्क्लूड द फिक्स कॉस्ट 
that is the fixed cost related with the cost of the plant and the machinery and variable cost which is the cost related with the main and the material ki raw material sathi lagnari cost etc and using all these your product cost is generated understood and now can you tell me what is the relation of the product cost with the profit of the product yes what is the relation of the product cost with the profit of the that particular product yes सेलिंग प्राइस सेलिंग प्राइस कारण तुम्हें जी सेलिंग प्राइस है मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट में प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट वर बरोबर यस सर मग प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट कभी इनक्रीज हो सकते कस्टमर के डिमांड वर नो व्हेन द प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट कैन बी इनक्रीज can the production cost can be increased because of carelessness of the employees yes is it possible that production cost or the manufacturing cost will increase because of carelessness of the employees or the men yes sir how टाइम मध्य जर केस टाइम पेल टाइम मैं सैलरी this is the one factor another now while while producing that product if if that particular employee has utilized the raw material more than what is required can it happen or not yes sir then also the production cost can increase yes sir and effect of that will have what happen if your product cost will increase definitely the selling price has, uh, will also increase getting the point and if the selling price your selling price is more than average selling price of that particular product in the market then demand will increase or the decrease if the selling price of your product is more than average selling price of the same product which are available in the market then your de demand of your company product will increase or decrease 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 hoil na ka asa asta ka ek ekas company cha product market madhe asto asa asta ka bharpur company cha product astat na market madhe barobar yes sir customer always used to compare these things am i right yes sir and so product so what so what i am asking you the product cost is also having the relationship with the profit yes or no yes sir and that is the second dimension using which the company can predict profit of that particular product using the product cost if all the employee has put, has done their work sincerely they have not utilized the unwanted raw material they have not utilized the excess raw material they have uh, not uh, increased the time required to produce that material etc etc then definitely your product cost will remain average and definitely then you can you can uh, put your selling price average selling price or less selling price so that demand will increase and definitely because of profit of the company can be 
initially so that is the second dimension using which prediction of the profit related with the new product can be done third important one is the development time what do you mean by the development time development time is nothing but what time taken by that particular development team to develop that product understood now suppose company initially has decided that this product will be uh, will launch in the market after 1.5 year initially बरोबर ना रिक्वायरमेंट एनालिसिस करतो आपण प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट करताना करेक्ट यस सर रिक्वायर एनालिसिस एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा करतो आपण सो इफ द कंपनी हैज डिसाइडेड दैट प्रोडक्ट विल लॉन्च इन हाउ मेनी इयर्स 1.5 इयर बट इन दैट 1.5 इयर्स प्रोडक्ट नॉट गेट कंप्लीटेड इट हैज टूक इट टूक द 2 इयर्स मींस व्हाट डेवलपमेंट टाइम हैज इंक्रीज और द डिक्रीज इंक्रीज if the development time get increase then what can be its effect yes if the development time get increase what will its effect will the company able to launch that product in the market in time no sir oh. and if the company will not able to launch that product in the time in the market तुमचा कोणीतरी कॉम्पिटेटर तुमच्या अगोदर ते प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च करू शकतो यस यस डेफिनेटली यू विल बी यू विल बी यू विल बी लॅक इन द कॉम्पिटिशन युअर कॉम्पिटेटर्स विल गो अहेड ऑफ यू गो अहेड ऑफ यू अँड डेफिनेटली द कंपनी हॅज टू फेस द लॉस बिकॉज ऑफ दॅट सो टाइम टेकन फॉर द डेव्हलपमेंट ऑल्सो डिटरमाइन द स्पीड विथ विच द रिटर्न ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट डेव्हलपमेंट आर रिसीव्ह बाय द कंपनी जर तुम्ही याच्या हा जो टाइम ट्रिप पिरियड आहे याच्या अगोदर जरी तुम्ही प्रोडक्ट तुमचा लॉन्च केला देन डेफिनेटली इट विल गोइंग टू हेल्प युअर कंपनी अंडरस्टूड सो अर्ली द प्रोडक्ट यू विल गेट प्रोड्यूस विदाउट इंटरफेरिंग विथ द क्वालिटी अर्ली द प्रोडक्ट यू विल प्रोड्यूस विदाउट इंटरफेरिंग विथ द क्वालिटी अर्ली यू विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग द प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम दॅट प्रोडक्ट इज इट राईट ऑर नॉट जेवढं लवकर तुमचा प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस होईल तेवढं लवकर तुम्हाला प्रॉफिट यायला चालू होईल येस ओर नो अँड सो डेव्हलपमेंट टाइम इज ऑल्सो द इम्पॉर्टंट डायमेन्शन युझिंग व्हिच कंपनी कॅन डिसाइड प्रॉफिट ऑफ दॅट प्रोडक्ट इन द फ्युचर अंडरस्टूड द थर्ड डायमेन्शन अँड लास्ट वन दॅट इज द डेव्हलपमेंट कॅपॅबिलिटीज जर तुमच्या कंपनीमध्ये तो प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस करण्यासाठी कॅपेबल एम्प्लॉय नसतील तर तुम्ही वेळेवर प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च होईल का तुमचा क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट तयार होईल का टेल मी नो सर नो सो यू विल ऑल्सो नीड व्हॉट कॅपेबल एम्प्लॉई टू प्रोड्यूस द प्रोडक्ट सो द एबिलिटी ऑफ द डेव्हलपमेंट टू डेव्हलप द न्यू प्रोडक्ट विल डिटरमाईन द फ्युचर ऑफ द कंपनी इफ यू हॅव द टॅलेंटेड एम्प्लॉई इफ यू हॅव द टॅलेंटेड इंजिनियर देन डेफिनेटली your product will be quality and your product will get generated in the time so a company with the better capabilities to develop the product is bound to have the bright future and assist in charting the future course of the company so if the company scores well so here we are discussing the last dimension using which prediction of the profit related with the new product can be done that is the development capabilities yes Akash tell me the development capabilities dimension is what Sir man ja apan ekada product launch kela te apan aple je company le employees de te tacha work karu shakta ke nahi te time to time te service dau shakta ke nahi means if you have decided to produce the new product then you need the good capable team you need the talented engineer team to develop that product. if your team is not capable then that definitely will affect on the quality of the product then that definitely will affect on the development time of the product if it affects on these two dimension definitely it will affect on the product cost also and if all this factor get affected then the profit of the company will also get affected if you are good the cap good capable company talented engineers you will have then your product will also will created as a a uh, quality product and it will also get uh, developed within the time before the time 
and you can if it is get developed before time you can launch that product in the market ahead ahead of your competitors and then if it happens then definitely you can predict the profit of that product very easily okay so if all the four dimension that we have discussed all the four dimension that we have discussed if the company does well in that all the four dimension then nobody can stop that company from getting the maximum amount of profit all of you are agree yes sir yes so sir. that is nothing but our second engineering economic dimension uh, decision that is nothing but related with the launching the new product and when company is deciding launching the new product company has also company also need to consider or company also need to predict how much profit they will get from that particular product from the market and you have to predict that profit company has to consider all these four dimension which is the first dimension product quality okay second product cost product cost third cost. development time development, development time. time and lastly the development capability. development capability okay so that's it from the today's session next time we will continue with the next part okay okay sir thank you all of you